this is a demonstration of getting a OBJ out of Maya and into Equalizer so that everything's in sync as far as the positioning of everything. So first thing we're going to do is we can see that we've got an eyeball and we have a move for that object group. So what we need to do is we have to get the eyeball to be at zero. So it doesn't actually have to be at zero, but it has to be some frame that you can keep track of. So having it at the origin is probably the easy way of doing this. So we've got a keyframe here. What we're going to do is we're going to put a keyframe here of zero. And now, now we see that the eye is at the origin here. So now we can take this eye and we can export the OBJ. And let's have a frame number right there. So that's the, the origin, but we really want to be is we want this frame one to be a pose or we could do this range here as a Cooper file, but we'll just go to frame one and say that that's our lineup. Again, if you save this, you'll have keyframes for the um, for the um, origin position and for your first frame or your for your last frame lineup. So now we can do a pose saver, export pose. So now we go to Equalizer, we create a new group, call it Eyeball, bring the OBJ. So of course the Eyeball here is at the origin. So we can keep track of things. And now we'll do a pose or a Cooper file, whatever you need. We import the pose. And now the entire group in the eyeball is underneath the camera. And everything's in sync with Equalizer and Maya as far as the OBJ and the animation here. So in this particular technique, it's not the only way of doing it. What we've done is that we've moved the eyeball to the origin, and then we've got an offset from its parent. And that means when we go back to Maya, everything will be in sync. At this point, then we'd start adding our 2D tracks and um, project points, and uh, then we'd have a solve. This is a slightly different method for synchronizing the OBJs and poses from Maya to Equalizer. So let's create a locator, label it, so here I'm putting the frame number, we'll constrain it, so this is now a witness for the position of this. Now we can take the eye, so here we can take a keyframe for this position. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the eye, make it the child here. So now we can export a pose. So notice this eye pose for frame 5. Now what we have to do is temporarily set this to 0 so that everything will be correct in equalizer. So I have auto key off. Set this for 0. So what's happened here is now the eyeball and the uh, pose are at the origin. So now we can take the eye, export that OBJ. Again, we've got the frame number, frame 5, if needed.
and sometimes we may do this whole system with a Cooper file instead of a pose before this um, pose is file a uh, pose file is fine normally the Cooper would be used with uh, equalizer LSF so now we go to equalizer create our point group call it I okay, so now to ensure that this works properly let's park at frame 5 because that's where all of our work was done we import the OBJ at frame 5 if we look right here it's sitting at the origin but what we want to do is we want to move it over here so it's near the camera and how do we do that well that's the pose file set this to OBJ import it's going to be a frame 5 pose for frame 5 this was just created in Maya as well we import it and now the eyeballs moved over and everything's ready to go